Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from eGatSec. Similar to what I did with the Asus ROG Phone 5, I'm going to be doing an Antutu Benchmark throttle test with the Nubia Red Magic 6 Pro. The Red Magic 6 Pro has the same Snapdragon 888 and that chip is known to get pretty hot. So let's see if the internal fan on the Red Magic 6 Pro can actually keep that temperature down. So I'm going to be running the Antutu benchmark test a total of 5 times without the cooler and then run it again another 5 times with the dual core cooler. So let's get this benchmark started guys. So I'm going to be doing the test like so, so that the phone is elevated and there's space at the bottom for the heat to dissipate. And of course, once I connect the dual core cooler, it's going to need some space here at the bottom. So on to test number 1 in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so those are my first run scores. It's 823,033. And looking at the temperature, it hit 40.4 degrees Celsius. Battery went down by around 4%. Alright, so let's go to the second run. Alright, so the results for my test 2 went down as expected. It hit 813,567 and the temperature went up as high as 45.8 degrees and the battery went down by 6%. So let's move on to test number 3. So the benchmark was stopped automatically by the game center because of the excessive heat warning. So unlike the ROG Phone 5, this phone won't let me keep running the benchmark and potentially damage the phone. 
So I guess the maximum runs we can do with the phone for now without the cooler is 2 times. So now I guess it's time to bring out the dual core cooler. So with this cooler, let's see how many runs I can do with the Antutu to benchmark before it gives that high temperature warning. But let's give the phone some time to cool down so at least it won't mess with the results that we're gonna get. So checking temperatures at the back, 41.5, temperatures in the front, 42.8. So it does feel pretty hot and it's pretty uncomfortable if I'm going to do extended gaming periods with the phone this hot. So I've attached the cooler to help lower the temperature of the phone before we start the test. Alright, so the cooler is attached. So let's do the first test with the cooler. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. Test 1 is done, 823,307. Temperature went up as high as 37.6, so it is a big improvement with the cooler, and battery went down by 5%. Going to test number 2 guys. Alright, test 2 is done, score of 827,560, temperature went up a bit but still hasn't hit the 40 degree mark, it's at 39.6 degrees and battery went down by 6%. So now let's run the third test. So if you remember earlier in the video, the Red Magic 6 Pro actually stopped the third run without the cooler because it started overheating. So let's see if that will be the case even though I have the cooler attached.
Alright, the score for my third run is 822,796. Temperature went up by 40.1 degrees and battery lost was 7%. So without the dual core cooler, we weren't even able to finish the third run. But here, we finished the third run and the score isn't that much different from when we started out. Let's run the test one more time before we compare the score guys. So this is the fourth run in 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, so the fourth one is done. Score actually went up a bit. It went to 825,297. Temperature is not too bad, 40 degrees Celsius, and battery loss is 5%. So there is no noticeable throttling when you've got the cooler attached. So if you're going to be doing long gaming sessions, you won't have any problems with overheating as long as you've got the Red Magic Dual Core Cooler attached while you're playing. So if I remove the cooler, you can actually check the temperature at the back. Yeah, it's pretty cool at 33.2, so it doesn't even get too hot. And temperature now after the test is 36.1. So temperature is pretty much the same as when we started the test. So this cooler is pretty effective in keeping the phone stable, especially during long gaming sessions and when you're running graphic intensive games. To be honest guys, I am disappointed in the fact that if you don't have the dual core cooler or you didn't have the budget to get the cooler, you're going to be facing some overheating problems with the phone even though it has an internal fan and that fan is already spinning at a pretty fast 20,000 RPM. I know the Antutu is one of the heavier benchmarks to run which might explain why the phone got really hot. But stay tuned to the channel guys. I plan to do a proper gaming test so I'm going to be testing both the Red Magic 6 Pro and the ROG Phone 5 in a couple of the hottest Android games out right now. So I'm going to be testing it in PUBG as well as Call of Duty or COD and the final test will be run on Genshin Impact. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and turn your notification on on your device. So with that said, let's end this video here. See you all on my next one guys.